what is in this glorious makeup bag that I take traveling with me? Well, let's find out. All right, you guys, to start with the makeup bag that I've been using is this Friends and Revolution makeup bag. It just holds all the product very nicely in it. I don't believe you can get that anymore, but if you can, I will link it below. And let's go ahead and start with, let me pull it out real quick, my base products that I've been traveling with. The first one is going to be the AOA Perfect Filter um, Face Primer. You guys know I have talked about this at length. Just, it makes my foundation look so pretty. I can't explain it. It just makes my foundation look good. So well, I will not travel without that. The foundation that I travel with is my Revolution Relove Super Matte Foundation in the shade F2. You guys, don't let the super matte part of this like turn you off. It is not as matte as you would think it is. It It is it's more of a satin, almost leaning matte. It is not going to be a flat, flat matte. And it's just pretty and it wears forever, which is very important while I'm traveling. It's, you know, longevity. The concealer I travel with is the AOA Liquid Concealer in the shade Fair Ivory. I just love the way this looks underneath my eyes. It conceals what I want it to conceal. It does not accentuate my fine lines underneath my eyes. So that is the concealer that I have been traveling with onto cheek products and I recently got this in a boxy charm. It's the Violet Boss Whispering Rose um, blush palette and you guys I love this one. I've used this shade and this shade and I've mixed this shade and this shade and it's just very pretty and it gives me a lot of options. It goes on beautifully, blends very nicely so I like this because I like the options for my cheeks. And then of course you guys have heard me talk about these quite a bit but I take these two as well. This is the She Glam Sunside Bronzer and this is just beautiful. It is the perfect shade of bronzer for me. It's not too dark. It blends seamlessly into the skin. It makes it look natural. If this was a cream product, I'm sure more people would love it. The next is going to be the She Glam Moonside Highlighter, and it looks like this. And you guys, this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. This is definitely a highlighter that if you use too much, you are going to know it. You are going to see it from across the street. It's just gorgeous. But it can also be subtle. You, you just have to work with it a little bit. But if you use a fan brush and just go super light across the skin, it is a very pretty and it can be subtle. For the most part it's not, but it can be. And I like that this gives me the option of going subtle or going ham. So I do like that one and enjoy traveling with it. For eyebrows, I'm sure it comes as no surprise to you guys that I travel with my Essence Make Me a Brow. And I also travel with the Essence Baby Got Brow Pencil. The Make Me Brow is in the shade, I believe it's taupe, something taupe, I don't know. But this pencil, the Essence Make Me Brown, it Make Me Brow is in Light Brunette. I like these. These are the only eyebrow products in my collection. So these don't change ever, but I do like these. For eyeshadow, this might come as a shock to you guys, but I only travel with two singles. This is going to be the AOA Venetian Romance in Betrothed, and I travel with a lighter shimmer and a darker shimmer. So my other one is going to be the um, AOA Venetian Romance in Era. And the reason I travel with these two is because for the most part when I'm traveling, I will only throw Betrothed, the lighter one, on my lids, and then I put on my eyeliner, and that I call my eye, eye makeup look. That's it. But if I want to go for something a little bit darker, I'm going out at night, I will, I have Era to kind of darken up the outer corner and these two look gorgeous together and they also look gorgeous separately. So those are the two that I enjoy traveling with. My last eye products that I travel, of course, is going to be with my liquid liner. This one is just the Lovecraft Beauty and this is in Dark di dark Dimension. It is a dual ended eyeliner that I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm just using it up. And then of course my Urban Decay 24-7 Glad on Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. So those are the two eyeliners I travel with. The two mascaras that I travel with are my Makeup Revolution 5D with Lift and the Give Beauty Can't Stop Staring. These give me two totally different looks, but they do last very well all day. As long as I'm not doing a lot of physical activity like I do on a normal basis, these are very good mascaras and I do really enjoy them. This one gives me more full voluminous lashes and this gives me more of a combed through, lengthening, slightly voluminous. So I have two different looks if I want them. Um, for the most part, 
I will wear this one on when I'm traveling though, just because it looks better with the eyeliner and the minimal eye makeup look. The only lip products that I travel with is my Give Me You Yours um, Liquid Lipstick and Tomboy. I'm still here, Tomboy. And then my Essence 8 Hour Matte Eye Pencil, uh, Eye Pencil, Lip Pencil in Soft Beige. You guys, I wear this all the time. It is just the right color for me with darker hair that it makes it makes my lips stand out, but not too much. It's just the perfect lip combination. I've worn this pretty much all the time. Unless I'm wearing a lip gloss while I'm out in public because my lips are dry. These are the only two lip products that I have used, which probably means I should do a lip declutter. But the, these are what I use. This is what I travel with. This is what I use on a daily basis. It's what I have on my lips now. So you guys, this lip combination, I just love it. But that is it. That is all the makeup I travel with, especially for a girl that likes more colorful looks. I mean, I've got pink and yellow on my eyes today. I find that when I'm traveling, I go for more minimal eye looks. I don't know if that's just me. It might be just me. Let me know in the comments if you guys, when you travel, do you go for more like out there looks or do you go for more minimal looks? I tend to keep the more colorful looks when I'm at my house, so I have more time to do them. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!